Well, it's another chilly start to the morning across the area, but there is a little bit of a difference that's making this morning a little bit better. I'll talk about that in just a moment. But current temperatures across the board need that light jacket. 41 in Van Wert and Salina, 44 here in town in Lima, 45 in Ottawa. But Sydney, you're down to 39 degrees, so definitely a chill to the air. What's making this morning a lot better is the fact that we have a lot less gray on the map, which means a lot less cloud cover. So that means we'll actually finally start a day with some sunshine across the area. But of course, naturally, it seems like that it never lasts long as we are tracking this next disturbance near Bismarck, North Dakota. That will dive southeast right into the Twin Cities and then the upper Great Lakes, bringing the return of showers and clouds back into the area. So let's look at the overall big picture over the next several or several days. So the storm system over the Dakotas will be moving off to the east, briefly bringing in a brief shot of milder air as we go today into our Thursday. But with that low pressure then departing to the east with another area of low pressure moving through, that's going to bring reinforcing, reinforcing shots of chillier air as we get Saturday, Sunday into Monday. But notice things are going to eventually progress as we have this upper level high pressure that begins to move off to our south and then a developing trough out towards the plains. That is going to create a highway of much milder air back into that area by Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday to likely bring temperatures above normal. So we'll discuss that in the seven day. But looking at skycast, we see clouds will increase throughout the day today. By the time we get into Thursday morning, scattered showers will be possible and really they will be quite likely at any time throughout Thursday afternoon. Any shower should generally remain light, but nevertheless here and there certainly showers will be possible. Expect that same flavor as we go through our Friday. And once again, with another disturbance arriving for Saturday, meaning more chances for scattered showers will be possible at any time as we start the weekend. So in terms of accumulation of rainfall through Sunday morning, about a quarter to a half inch looks likely over the course of those next three days. So not overly heavy, but we actually do need this as the area is still in predominantly moderate drought. So looking at today's city by city forecast, clouds will be increasing 66 in Spencerville, 65 in Lima. Across the north might even try to flirt with 67 degrees in a few locales. And as we go and look to our south, 64 in Anna, 63 in West Liberty and Bell Fountain. Heading into tonight, notice these temperatures are, are a lot more milder compared to previous nights. Only 51 degrees here in Lima, 52 possibly in Hicksville and Paulding. And as we get to our south, 49 in St. Henry, 47 in Rushi, 46 in West Liberty, 52 degrees over by Indian Lake. Looking at seven day forecast, breezy and showery Thursday and Friday. Temperatures moderate slightly for Thursday. Then they go back down Sunday night with possible frost Monday morning. Then temperatures might even approach 70 degrees by the time we get to next Wednesday. Holly, Chris.